Hey guys, Easily Fantasy here. Make sure if you're not subscribing yet to subscribe down below. We are talking about uh, Robert Woods. The fantasy implications that Robert Woods is now a Tennessee Titan. What does that mean for AJ Brown? Uh, are they still going to be a run heavy team? You will find out that and more in an upcoming Easily Fantasy episode right here. Again, subscribe. If you're listening anywhere, make sure you hit the little subscribe button on iTunes or Spotify. We appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Stay tuned. All right, Clayton, we are talking about your favorite guy, your favorite move of the offseason, Robert Woods going to the Titans. Look, a lot of people are asking what's going to happen, right? It was Robert Woods a product of the Rams. Is he that good? Uh, what what do we expect out of the Titans and Robert Woods this season? I'll tell you this much. I am not confident. I do not like to move for Robert Woods. I understand. I mean, I mean, when the trade happened, you could see that it made sense on for, for both teams, right? I mean, you look at, you know, the Rams signed when it got Allen Robinson free agency. And at the same time, Julio was released from Titans. Titans were in the market for a number two to play opposite of AJ Brown, which they've needed for for a long time. I mean, Julio wasn't, that's what they thought they had in Julio. And he was a, he was a bust last year. Yep. But so obvi- obviously it made sense. They didn't pay much for him, but uh, I mean, and I mean, when you, when you, when, if we go back to his stats, you, you look at his stats, the last four, uh, last three full seasons that he's played from 2018 to 20, never finished lower than the wide receiver, 17 and half point PPR. Um, and even this year through the first nine weeks of, of this past year, I mean, he was wide receiver 11 before he tore his ACL, right. That, and that's exactly what ended his season. So, mm-hmm. I mean, the production was there and yeah, like you said, do I think I, do I personally think that, um, he's going to be, you know, he could finish in the top 20, which I've, I've seen that I've seen a lot of people saying that he can be a top 20 wide receiver. Um, I, I, I don't see it. I mean, you're going to a Titans team who's very run heavy i mean they're, they got, they're still gonna know, be run first right yeah yeah they got they got king henry there he'll be back uh and they got elite receiver in uh aj brown he's yeah. already demanding he was demanding almost 25 percent of the targets anyways last year i mean that that's even going to go up this year i believe and now you got a healthy um henry then as far as that goes there's not a whole lot that they do not throw the ball a lot no if you if you look at it uh the, the rams are throwing the ball I mean, the last four seasons, if you look at it, if you want to look at passing attempts on the year, um, the Rams have always finished in the top half of it, right? In the last four years, the Titans, on the other hand, rank close to the bottom every single time. Yep. As a matter of fact, I think they were dead last two seasons ago. Um, Rams were thrown over almost 60% of the time on their offensive snaps, while the Titans were are through just over 50%. Yeah. So, um, so, so to me, the product, I, I mean, the opportunities are not going to be there. Right. Correct. Right? Yeah. I mean, look, look at AJ Brown's stats last year and he only played 13 games because of, because of injury, but he had 105 targets, 63 receptions, less than 900 yards and five touchdowns averaged just over nine fantasy points per game. That's similar to like Jalen Waddle per game basis. Uh, Marquise Brown, um, you know, it's lower than Hunter Renfro. So, AJ Brown still has it, but he's not getting enough enough volume to make himself very relevant. And then you're adding Robert Woods in this. He, Robert Woods can definitely not will not outperform AJ Brown. So you got and, and they also added Austin Hooper, right? They right. have the new new uh, nice tight end there as well. So I mean, it's going to depend on how how much they throw the ball. But you know, I don't see them having to do that, especially with the healthy Henry back. Yep, absolutely, I hundred percent agree. As far as that goes, you know, where where does his where where's his, where's the upside out for him? I mean, I think it's capped as more of a low end wide receiver too. Um, I'm going to definitely have him what's ranked outside my top thirty this year for sure. All right, Ryan Tannehill was number thirteen uh, in the league with pass attempts, and you got to remember Derrick Henry wasn't there half the season. Exa- so exactly. If he if he was, I think that number would have been a lot lower. Yeah, um, five hundred thirty one attempts, very similar to guys like Mac Jones, and. uh Joe Burrow. So and I um, mean exactly. And you gotta think about it. Like like you said, if Henry was there, there's no way he's he's sitting below those guys in the rankings for sure. So when we're looking at when we're looking at some rankings, uh just off the top of your head, guys like Brandon Ayuk, you're drafting ahead of Woods, obviously, right? Yep. Um give me some guys maybe that are around that same uh around that same 
be Shit. drafting. We're drafting Derek J, uh, Jalen Waddle over him, right? DJ Moore. Yeah, definitely. I th- I think I'm even going to lie. Uh, Elijah Moore over him. Yeah. Okay. After so de- I watched so definitely T Higgins. Yep. Uh, definitely Michael Pittman. Definitely Pittman now. Yeah, you betcha. And yeah. then also, um, I, um, Amon St. Brown. I love him. I like yeah. him again this year. Be really okay. Yeah, just and like Jerry Judy, all those guys. Like I mean, Cortland Sutton too. Same thing. I'm gonna draft them ahead. It's a quarterback situation. They're in Denver, right? So, like I said, Woods is going to be outside my top thirty, and like a uh, basically upside of a wide receiver two, maybe low end. And coming off the injury as well, that's a little bit uh, nervous. It makes me a little bit nervous as well. Yeah. What do you, okay. So would you, what about Jacoby Myers? Are you taking, uh, would you take Jacoby Myers over? No. I'll take Woods over Myers. I mean, look, they both have value in PPR, right? Um, man. Myers. I mean, it's close. It's close. He had 126 targets last year. That's top 20 in the league. He didn't convert on a lot of those and he didn't get a ton of yardage, but man, uh, 120. Tar- definitely targets. target, target shares there for sure. So, all right. Uh, so you're taking Robert Woods as a wide receiver three and nothing yep. more. Three, four. Yep. Okay. All right. Appreciate it.